Hi there, I am Tade. Welcome to the Kitchen TV. Today, I'm going to be discussing eight highest paying jobs in Canada that can change your life if you plan to have your career here long term. So just so you know, these are not, these are not the salaries you earn once you land in Canada. Like you're not going from zero to $350,000 the second day, but just the potential of what you can earn when you move here. So in general, some of the highest paying um, industries in Canada, the medical, are uh, the medical field, oil and mining, uh, banking, and um, yeah, I think those are like the main high earners. So the first people are in a lot of, the first occupation where you can earn a lot of money uh, is by being a surgeon. Uh, Canada has some of the best healthcare system in the world. Uh, I think about uh, 24 in the entire world. But they have a very low per capita uh, ratio between surgeons and patients. So as a result of that, there's this massive demand for doctors. And a surgeon can, sorry, for surgeons. And a surgeon can command as high as $350,000 per year. In context, the average salary in Canada is about minimum like 40k so at 350k per year you're earning almost times nine of the typical income of the average canadian however it's not that glamorous any slight mistake can end your career um also the medical schools are very expensive as well so those are some of the things that you need to be aware of if you want to come if you want to be a surgeon in canada the second role that is well paid dentist also in the field of medicine as well. So the beauty of dentists is that it's a lot easier to be self-employed as a dental practitioner. But if you're being paid, we're looking at a salary of $290,000 for fixing your teeth. And if you move to Canada, you realize there's a lot of self-employed dentists in Canada because it's just a lot easier to set up your own uh, dental practitioner as opposed to being a surgeon where uh, you know, it's much more complicated. Um, you're looking at a commanding salary of $290,000 as a dentist and if you're self-employed obviously there's no limit they're subject to how much customers you can bring in how many branches you have but in terms of commercial expansion I would definitely say being a, so being a dentist is probably much more beneficial long term than being a soldier I stand to correct it but I just feel like if it gives you a self-employed opportunity then you can be able to make some more money the third profession that you can earn a lot of money in Canada, a different sector this time around, which is the oil and gas industry. If you're a petroleum engineer in Canada, we're looking at a salary of a range of 200K to $300,000. To this is a lot of money, times five higher than what a typical Canadian earns. However, there's a clause to it as well, because it's subjected to all prices. There's a lot of high and fire that goes on in the oil industry in Canada. Unlike the first two roles I mentioned, medicine, medicine tends to have job stability subject to you not messing up your license. So um, yeah, petroleum engineers make a lot of money as well, 200k to 300k. Tying in with petroleum engineers, we have psychiatrists as well. Also on that field of medicine, I mean that's self-explanatory to deal with people who are mentally deranged. And that can command a premium economy, a premium salary as well, from 200 to 290k. Um, I don't have a lot of information about what it's like to be a psychiatrist, but uh, it must be something that you must clearly love to do before you can do it. It's not a rule you can just push yourself to before you can put yourself out there and say, I want to do it. No, you have to love what you're doing to do it. The next role, which is also another industry, is IT managers. IT managers uh, can command a salary of about one fifty to two hundred and ten thousand dollars in Canada. Uh, and the beauty of IT manager is that, unlike the medical field in Canada, which is exclusively kept for Canadian trained individuals, the IT sector is very much opened. In fact, if an immigrant and you have a background in IT, you should have very little problems landing a job for yourself in Canada. And uh, that's the one advantage being an IT comes uh, comes with, and it's also very versatile as well. There will always be a massive demand for IT managers. So if IT is your forte, and it's something you're good at, <laughs> this is an easy entry. Obviously, your first job won't give you two hundred thousand dollars, but 
you play plan your game well you're looking at something can earn within a reasonable six to seven years if you're very excellent at what you do i kind of wish i was good in it uh, it i'm not i've never been an it person but that's one thing i kind of wish i knew so the number six job that pays a lot of money in canada uh, the being a marketing manager obviously you're selling lots of products you're strategizing on how to sell products so you're gonna make a lot of money this looks this commands a salary between one hundred and ten thousand dollars to two hundred thousand dollars usually not guaranteed don't quote me on it but if you have an mba it helps you a lot to land that marketing job where you can flourish and sell and give out strategies where you can um, you know, sell products and the beauty of marketing job is that it's also a poaches market in the sense that if you're very good at what you do your employee will do everything as a, as a, uh, to keep you as a marketing manager which involves a higher pay more benefits and working on your own terms so this is one of those uh, high paying jobs it's also a different sector as well you can work in as a marketer in the finance you can work as a marketer in the fmcg you can work as a marketer in any field so there's a variety that comes with being a marketer a marketing manager is one of the highest paying jobs can land in canada the number seven job is being a pilot pilots all around the world are paid usually paid higher than most people Maybe apart from Europe, where they have lots of budget airlines, but in other parts of the world, pilots tend to be, you know, up there. Uh, whether you want to work for a private commercial airline or government service agencies, pilots have some of the highest job, uh, salary and earning jobs in Canada. We're looking at a salary of 150 to 200k, and you know, the Canadian yeah. aviation industry is still very much protected. It's not, uh, they don't have like budget airlines everywhere the way they have in Europe. So you can be sure of uh, earning a decent money if you're a pilot and you're, and you're in Canada. And the number eight and the final job I'm going to be discussing is being a lawyer. Lawyers in Canada, unlike some parts of the world where they get peanuts or they don't make a lot of money to a later point in their career, are well paid in Canada. Um, the beauty of being a lawyer is that you can also be self-employed, which gives you greater control and ability to expand at your own pace. But if you're a lawyer, so you're a corporate, if you're a corporate 95 lawyer, you're looking at a salary from 100k or not entry point, by the way. But like, I mean, if you want subject, you also being good at your job and all that, you're promoted and all that. You're looking at a salary of 110,000 to 190,000 dollars as your salary. And um, so I always encourage. Uh, people who, if you know your, if you look, if, if you look at these industries, I've all these occupations I've listed in your, on my videos. If you know you're not earning a lot in your country or wherever you are, your province, sorry, your country, you can always explore the option of moving here and starting a career within that sector.